So, y'all, I'm up in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, aka cold as fuck. Cheesehead Packers, you know these motherfuckers up here. I feel now that I've been up here in this type of cold, I feel even more. You know, I guess. It's odd to me to know that motherfuckers be at football games and shit with their shirt off and shit like that. It just looks even more crazy to me now that I understand fully what the fuck is going on around here. But, I done got uh, parked up here at a motherfucking Loves. I deliver in the morning, so we gonna get some work in. Motherfuckers been sending me shit. I got messages to go through. We gonna get some work in today, goddammit. We gonna start with this... Dr. Anita Phillips, a pastor, who says we were not forced to take on Christianity by our slave masters. I was sent this three minute clip. Y'all know how we do it around here. I'm going to go um, through the clip. I'm going to be giving commentary as we go along here and understand this is what makes religion so very uh, problematic. Let's hear what Dr. Anita has to say. It's Black History Month, so uh-huh. can I use a Black History example? Yeah. I believe that my ancestors were brought here involuntarily, stripped of their language, uh-huh. stripped of their religion, stripped uh-huh. of their God, stripped of their community, and forced to produce for someone else, legacy shaken. Uh-huh. And they, but they knew. Mm. Spirit. Okay, spirit. I thought it was Mr. Prince. There's something very special about the African diaspora. Uh-huh. We know spirit. And so how are you going to tell me that I need three deep theology degrees uh-huh. when the slave ancestors, the enslaved peoples, were able to figure out when the master said you're supposed to be slaves, they say that's a lie. They couldn't read no scripture. Uh-huh. Hold on, let me, let me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. They won't let me pause it. No, Matt. Okay. I'm going to go back a little bit. But we must understand that the Bible actually tells slaves to obey their masters like they were God. As you would worship me, essentially. It's actually what's in the Bible, Dr. Anita. That's what's in there. So you're going to have to deal with that at some point. Because she's saying before black people could read, they actually didn't have issues with us reading the Bible. That's actually one of the books that they actually would uh, allow us to read, Dr. Phillips. And of course, the crowd goes wild. This is one of the things that bothers me the most about church. It's the crowd. It don't be the shit that's being said a lot of times. It's hearing people hoop, holler, and clap. That discourages me. Because there'd be so many of them. Let me go back a little bit. But actually, it tells you in the Bible to obey your uh, slave master like their God, Miss Anita. But we'll continue. Hold on, let me go. This shit acting a little bit janky. They say that's a lie. They couldn't read no scripture. The white man read it too. Didn't Didn't have no index. No Matthew Henry commentary. Right, right, right. But they knew it was a lie. And for those who like to say that Christianity was forced upon us, that is also a lie. Okay. Because. Let me stop before she even get into it. <laughs> the fact that she says, in the beginning she says, we were stripped of our religion. She says that in the beginning as she's, you know, evoked the spirit of Black History Month. She says that black black people were stripped of their religion. She says that. So how are you going to say that? And at the same time, two or well, maybe two, three sentences later, you say that Christianity being forced on our ancestors. That's a lie. That doesn't make any sense, Dr. Anita. But the people in the crowd are so dumb. They're going to clap anyway. We'll continue. I'm still talking about mental health. I'm still talking about it. But I'm saying that's 
also a lie because in the first days of enslavement, mm -hmm. they did not allow slaves to participate mm -hmm. in Christian ceremonies. They were threatened with hundreds of lashes, beaten on. So again, she doubles down and says that wasn't us. And I don't think it's a matter of them allowing us to. I don't think our ancestors would have gave a fuck and wanted to. So even when she uses the word allow us to, why why would our ancestors who already had a spiritual system would they give a fuck? That's what she the way she's wording it is fucked up. Because she makes it seem like it's some type of club that we wanted to be a part of. No, it wasn't. But we'll continue as she now she about to fuck history up. Let's listen to her. To death if they were caught praying to Jesus under threat. This is a lie. Hold they on. They snatched that word. This is a lie. Jesus, the word itself. Our ancestors didn't know nothing about no damn Jesus. What are you talking about? Why are you sitting up here lying? And furthermore, congregation, why are you clapping? This is a lie. They forced Christianity upon us because they know that within that Bible, it taught these slaves to obey their masters. It was what they were hoping would stop black people from rebelling at the um, rebelling against them at all because they know they was mistreating black people. But let's continue. And we're going to get into some more. Hold on. And strengthen themselves with it. Mm -hmm. So don't you tell me it was forced on them. I know a lot of black folk. You can't force us to do nothing. Oh, here we go. With the comedy shit. Really? It ain't never been done. You might think you forced it up. Look at T.D. Jake's old bitch ass over there laughing like she just told a great joke. You telling me? That those centuries of slavery wasn't forced on you? What are you talking about, lady? Black people, why are you sitting out there not looking at what she's saying is disrespect? It was forced on you. Even though black people stubborn, ha, 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 joke, joke, joke. But come on now. What are you saying, doctor? That's why these black doctors, I'm telling you, I don't fuck with them either. But T.D. Jake, let me go back. Let me see if I can catch T.D. Jake's old Potter House bitch ass. Catch him in goddamn Versace and shit. Look at his motherfucking ass. Over there happy at the Potter House. Making all that goddamn money. Writing books and shit. Lying. Motherfuckers. You might think you forcing us. Mm -hmm. We might act like we going along with it. Uh -huh. But it ain't never happened. Right. <laughs> and so. We were not forced to take on Christianity. We took it. Oh, did you? And made it our own and snuck out into the forest and prayed and believed God until we learned to read that word and found out Jesus was a deliverer. And okay. so, don't tell me. She out of line. Hold on, I'm going to wait, though. She's all out of this line. This faith doesn't belong to me. Oh, yes, it does. It, with blood on it. Right. We were persecuted Christians on American soil. Okay, this is okay. burn our churches, crosses. That's real. We are Americans who have been persecuted as Christians on American soil. That's real. We're the only persecuted group of religious persecution. Just saying. All right. That last part was real. Because they, they were bombing our churches, but they weren't bombing them over no Jesus shit. They bombed them because a lot of times they thought we were in there strengthening ourselves and empowering ourselves to rebel against them. So that was the threat of the church, was the organization that they thought was going on in the church. Once they were able to infiltrate it properly and understand that these nigga pastors, they ain't in there talking about no goddamn revolutionary shit. They're not talking about no revolutionary shit. But we have acted revolution with revolutionary concepts and mentalities via uh, religion. You have uh, Nat Turner, for an example, and Harriet Tubman as well, for example. So it's all about how you using it because the power is really in the people. And a lot of people don't understand when the people say power to the people, power in the people is what I say. The power is in the people. It don't matter what the religion is. It's about what you believe in. And do you take it and use it for strength 
or do you take it to lay your motherfucking ass down and wait? See, this is the difference, and that's what it's all about. But here you have a black pastor doing what black pastors do, saying shit to get people riled up, giving black people an excuse to be Christian, because again, that was not our spiritual system. That wasn't us. Jesus, the word itself is trash. King James, do you know who King James is? Why are you not standing up there talking about King James? I just got through. We did a live show uh, last night. Mad love to everybody who was there. I talked about the fact that Christians do not talk about King James. They don't deal with King James at all. They don't talk about him. They don't mention him. It's their book, though. It's where they're getting their uh, word from. But they don't talk about King James. Who he was. What he did. What type of life he lived. They'll talk about the Jesus he wrote about. But they will not talk about the life that he lived himself. Which is very problematic. Should cause issue with anybody that is subscribing to religion. Do your research. But for her to misrepresent our ancestors. Acting like we wanted to... Uh, take on Christianity they beat Christianity into us and use our parents the same way they're being used right now to pass down that mentality amongst the slaves same thing they're doing right now the exact same thing they're doing right now so understand that this lady this black pastor is sitting up there motherfucking lying and everybody that's clapping for her are even more problematic than she is. Because somebody should have yelled, bitch, stop lying. Somebody should have yelled, it. okay, leave off the bitch. Okay, you're right. Y'all right. Y'all right. Fuck. Y'all right. Leave off the bitch part. But somebody should have told her, stop lying. I don't know why black people are not tired of being lied to by these fucking pastors. I don't know what it's going to take for y'all to get tired. But that, which the story she's telling, is a lie. She has some true parts in there. I'll give her that. Again, that's the part about them burning down the churches. I'll give her that. The part about us being brought over here involuntarily, I'll give her that. She should have mentioned the people that were already here too, but I'll at least give her the involuntary, them bringing us over here and stripping us of our religion. We were a spiritual people, not a religious people. Religion is not ne is not natural to us at all. But I saw the fuck I want to say, man. Y'all comment if you saw this this post. I'm sure the comments are. I can't even imagine. Hold on, let me look at some of the comments while we on here. First comment I see says Christianity is a lie. Bless that brother. <laughs> uh oh. We got some black black people in there saying, uh oh. We got some woke ones in there. Telling her she lying like hell. Telling her she lying like hell. Some people are too many too many people just amen. Like stop it. Oh my God! Somebody tell me she telling the truth. Like she preached her face off. It's so sad. It's so sad. There were some people in there that, that knew it was some bullshit. So respect to those people. But by and large, we know the black people will come in and clap this shit up. The people in the audience clapping this shit up. TD Jake's old bitch ass is over there it's laughing when she gonna say, "Well, they they can't force black people to do nothing." Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, you know, like get the fuck out of here, lady. Stop it. They had to force it on us because we didn't want it. So they beat it into us because we didn't want it. Stop fucking lying. But y'all comment, fit in the comment, like, share, subscribe. Y'all hit the notification bell. Links to follow me on social media in the description box. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.